Hello and welcome to Web Genie. In today's video, we are going to create a rock paper scissor game using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Yes, you heard it right. We are going to create a rock paper scissor game. So let us begin. I have created three files. One is an HTML, another is a CSS and another is a JavaScript file. Now, let us start adding bootstrap CDN into this. So, go to the bootstrap page and add the CDN. So, this is available in the bootstrap page. Now, uh, I am linking my uh, style sheet. And for this, we will also add the font awesome. So, go to the font awesome site. Type, just type uh, font awesome CDN in Google. And uh, you, you will be direct, redirected to the site which was shown in the screen. And add the CDN link here. Now I am adding reference to my script. That is my JavaScript file inside the body tag. Now I am creating a division container uh, with text as center. And there is a H1 uh, header uh, rock paper scissor now I am creating three buttons one for rock one for paper and one for scissor so btn btn primary these are all bootstrap classes so this will create a button with color blue Now for the font awesome uh, paper, so this is the symbol of paper. So we will keep this in uh, in the paper section. We will add the font icon just before the paper. Now let us type raw hand scissor. You, we will get something like this. So this is in a solid type. Now let us type hand rock so this is how the uh, rock now once i run this i am getting my html like this so the structure is developed now let us style our html <laughs> so i am uh, for the my button i am giving a trans uh, a transition an animation of uh, 0. Point Two seconds ease in out animation is what I am using with the box shadow and when you over on the button again another animation will be there So when you over on the button the color should change now there should be a result there uh, so we will uh, keep a proper uh, um, tag of pa uh, paragraph as result name result as id result so in this result uh, the result should be displayed like you win or you loss like that um, text should be displayed so for that let us give some styling the font weight is black, uh, bold and I am giving a color as green and that I am giving an animation here as well like it will fade after some time So this will be displayed only when, um, um, when, when we click on something. So the result will be displayed. Otherwise, every time the paragraph will be invisible. Now let us style our body. So I am giving the display as flex and aligning. This right for our body tag. So display is flex, justify items are in the center. And giving a margin and the background color is white. 
after this let us style our division so my division class name is container i am giving it a border radius of 10 pixels and a box shadow so it will be displayed inside a box and padding of 20 pixels and the background color of white now for our h1 tag i am um, h1 tag or uh, for my header header i am giving it a color of blue so our styling is completed now let us head on to our javascript code here i am going to create a method or function get user choice and it will get the user uh, the choice which the user has uh, selected like whether he has selected rock paper or scissor and there are three choices rock paper scissor and i am collecting this as an array and we have a computer choice uh, it will pick up the random of the three choices so i am calling a math math dot, math dot uh, random method here now to print the result i am creating another variable another constant called result and uh, this is determined using a another method to determine the winner here i am giving two parameters user choice and computer choice if the user choice is computer choice then a result will be displayed as it's a tie if the then otherwise we have to write the winning conditions if the user choice is rock and computer choice is uh, scissor user will win or if the user choice is paper and computer choice is rock again the user choice wins if the user choice is scissor and the computer choice is paper so these are the winning conditions so for all these cases the result should be displayed as you win return uh, you win otherwise it should return like you lost so this is what we are writing inside this method now let us create another function display result so here we are getting three choices uh, three uh, parameters result user choice and computer choice and i am creating a constant called result element so the, what does this result element contain it contains the um, paragraph that is result paragraph here and we are going to write inside the inner html of our paragraph so what does it write it writes like you win you chose uh, the user choice and computer chose this so the result as well as the user choices will be displayed so that we know how we won or how we lost and the paragraph will be shown otherwise the paragraph will be hidden so we are also creating a set timeout method so what will happen is uh, the show method will be removed from here so that the paragraph will remain hidden after 3 seconds so that is the reason i am creating a set timeout method here now i am calling my display result inside my get user choice method itself now let us go to our html and map the get user choice method to each of the on click event of our buttons so if you choose a uh, rock the get user choice should be uh, we are passing the parameter rock if i click on the paper button uh, in the user get user choice method i should pass paper otherwise scissor so this is how we are passing the result
so i hope uh, you like this video if you like this video please do give this video a thumbs up and share it with all the coding enthusiasts if you're new to my channel please click on the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon so that you will receive all of my future videos so we'll come with another exciting video next week till then take care bye bye see you the github link of this code in in the description box so do check it out and try this code on your own happy coding take care bye bye